So sometimes when working in R, we can encounter data that is structured as nested lists. And in this presentation, I will highlight some examples using the RR apply package uh, to handle and manipulate such nested data structures in R. So as an example data set, I will load a nested list uh, that is included in the RR apply package, uh, which contains renewable energy shares as a percentage of the total energy consumption per country in 2016. So we can see that the countries are organized according to their geographical location. And we also observe that certain regions or countries contain missing values. So as a first example, we can try to replace these missing values by a value of zero. And this can be done using the rapply function, which is a member of the apply family of functions in R. Uh, and it allows us to recursively apply a function f to list elements while maintaining the structure of the nested list by specifying this how argument. So that's quite convenient. Uh, as another example, let's say that we want to uh, filter all countries that are located in Europe with a renewable energy share above 50% while still maintaining the structure of the list. So now we can no longer use the R apply function and instead we have to write our own list recursion code. So this is an example of a, um, a recursive function. Uh, and if we apply this recursive function to the input list, then we can obtain the desired result. Um, but as we can see from the code, this can quickly become quite complex. And if we have to uh, figure out exactly what is going on in this code, uh, that can be quite a time consuming task. So the RR apply package provides a re-implemented version of the original R apply function uh, to make it more flexible and also more generally applicable to list recursion tasks in practice. So it builds on the native implementation of the original R apply function. And for this reason, it also does not require any additional package dependencies. Going back to the previous example, if we now use the new R apply function, uh, then we see that the code becomes much more straightforward. So here we specify a condition function, which lets us decide whether a given list element is evaluated or not. And we structure the result by filtering only the list elements that have been evaluated so that are satisfying the condition function that we specified here. Here we also use this special argument, which is one of a set of special arguments uh, that can be used to access the properties of a given list element under evaluation. So for example, the, the name or the position of a, an element inside the nested list. And in particular, this experience argument evaluates to um, a vector containing the ancestor names of uh, a given list element in the nested list. So that allows us to easily check whether a country is located in Europe or not. So the RR apply function can be quite efficient. So to illustrate this with an example, we unnest the nested list to a melted data frame using this how option. And this is essentially the same as what can also be done with the melt function that is available through the reshape to package. So if we compare the computation times of both functions applied to a large list object, uh, then we can see that with the new RR apply function, we can actually achieve significant speed ups with respect to the existing melt function that is available uh, in the reshape to package. So for a more comprehensive overview of the RR apply function, you can visit the package web page. Uh, so some additional features include um, recursing through other types of tree structured objects, uh, such as expressions or call objects. Um, we can also summarize or collapse uh, sublists of a nested list. Uh, and there are a number of additional um, options to uh, structure the returned results that are not shown here. Uh, so to conclude, the package is available on Khan as well.